Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will compare the resilient system with the fault tolerant system. At the end of the video I will have a bonus question so stay tuned till the end. Uh, let's take an example of Amazon app. In the Amazon app or any e-commerce app uh, you will find uh, the my cart service where if a user clicks uh, then he should see about what all items have been added into his cart. So let's say there is a user and uh, who is querying uh, clicking on the my cart service and uh, he should get whatever items have been added into his cart and let's say uh, the service uses a database on the back end now that is how the user can see what items have been added now if the database uh, goes down there is a fault in the database and it is not available then if the user tries to uh, get the my cart service and try to look into what all items are present into uh, his cart uh, then the my card service will not be able to fetch the items from the database right so in this case uh, the fault is leading to the failure of service because my card service will be unavailable for the user the user will be no longer able to uh, see what all items have been added to the card okay so this database has to be brought up or some other database any backup database will have to be brought up in its place and then only it will be connected to the my card service and after that the user will be able to query okay and then the service will become available so there is an involved downtime here so these type of systems are not fault tolerant because the fault is leading to the failure of service that is my card service being unavailable right if you look at the second example in this case the user is doing the same thing but in this architecture we have two databases okay so the green line shows the primary database okay so this one is the primary database here if the user makes any query then the query goes to the primary database if for some reason this database is down okay it is shut down or it has crashed due to some error then even if uh, after that the user wants to see what all items are present into its database there is a replica database which was always synchronized to the primary database and so the replica database or the backup database will also have all the details which the primary database had right and in such a case even if the user wants to see his card then the request will be routed to the other database whichever is available and so the user will feel like the service is available right and definitely the service is available even if uh, this database has gone down right so in this type of architecture we can say that even though the fault happened in one of the databases and the database is down but the fault is not leading to a failure okay so these type of systems are said to be fault tolerant system Definitely this is not 100% fault tolerant because both of the databases can come down and in such a case you can say that we will add a third database but we can never guarantee 100% fault tolerant systems. So comparing according to definition fault tolerance means the fault in the system components doesn't lead to failure that is uh, it doesn't lead to the unavailability of the service. Performance can be degraded yes like uh, we can have more latency or we can have increased waiting time on our service but the service will not be down so we will not see any downtime whereas if we compare it with resilience uh, then the resilience of a system is the capability of a system to come back to an acceptable operational state after a failure event has already occurred okay so therefore uh, we can say that the downtime is involved in this case that means there will be some time of unavailability of the service right I would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one-on-one -on -one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the WhatsApp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in. So coming to our bonus question, do we only need fault tolerant systems? Because uh, you can see that fault tolerance seems better that we want to be more available uh, in our service, right? So that will give a good quality of service. Uh, but in this case, the answer is no. We can never guarantee 100% availability. That means we can never make 100% fault tolerant system but we try to increase fault tolerance according to the need of the customer and there is always a trade-off between the cost and how uh, how much availability we want the more availability we want uh, the higher will be the cost involved therefore we have to look at the practical trade-offs 
and after that fixing the availability we will also want resilient system because that will be kind of complementary if we have let's say 99.9 percent .9 availability then there is a chance of 0.1 percent of failure of the service and in such a case we it will be helpful if our system is resilient that means the capability of our system is good to recover uh, when the failure has already happened so in that way we can say that fault tolerance and resilience uh, is kind of a complementary uh, stuff which we will need into our design i hope you are able to understand both fault tolerance and resilience you can watch detailed video on fault tolerance and resilience the link will be in the description below like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this system design videos see you guys in the next video thank you